I was just preparing myself for death. My name is Levi van Weyck. I am a politician and I am living with HIV. When I was 17 years old, I got to find out my HIV status and I was also pregnant that time. Um, the only thing I knew about HIV was that it was a death sentence. I still had a lot of dreams and I was just a kid, but I didn't want to die. The school told me that you can't come back because you are pregnant and you are HIV positive. I think that was my break point because I, I loved school. My mother, the person I needed the most, also changed because everyone was afraid of me. And the same thing happened, you know, in the community, in the, in the city, that you can't be amongst everyone there. You just have to go to the village and die. I was like an, an alien or someone from another planet. At that moment, it was very difficult to think about hope because I was hopeless. If UNICEF was not a part of my life, I don't think I was going to be where I am today. During my, the last term of my pregnancy, um, I went for um, antenatal. And um, during birth, he was give, given the prevention from mother to child transmission. And now my child is HIV negative and he's 13 years old now. He brings so much joy to me. He's my strength and yeah my courage and my everything. And that gave me courage after walking from where I was at the clinic that, you know, I have something that I need to live for. I regard um, UNICEF as my strongest support structure because they gave me that atmosphere, that environment, that platform to, to write about myself and, and just supporting me and being there for me to be who I needed to be as a child. I decided to take control of my life and, and, and just you know, live a normal life and keep on dreaming, keep on believing and having hope. After I talked about and shared my story and encouraged them that you know, there's hope, the same community who stigmatized against me, the same community who threw stones at me, who literally wanted to kill me, it's the same community who asked me to stand for them and to be a mayor for them. So that is how I became a mayor and I'm very proud of myself because at a very tender age of 26, you know, I had this big, big role. I was the youngest ever in our country at the age of 26. So I would long that support that UNICEF is giving me and gave me to be given to other young girls. Definitely my hope is, you know, for an HIV-free generation. Nothing is impossible. We can do it, especially when we have hope. For every child, hope.